Hey guys, and welcome to Sibley Hike. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Berghaus Ridgeway 60 plus 10 rucksack. So let's take a closer look now. Obviously the hint is in the name. It's got 60 liters in the body, and then you've got the 10 liters of storage either side. Obviously I'll show you those in a minute. Anyway, let's start from the bottom now, shall we? Obviously at the bottom you've got your rain cover in the bottom there. Pull that out. In again, just a nice traditional rain cover. Once you pull it out, pull the toggles in, and then hey presto, that's going to secure the top part and obviously keep all your gear dry. You've got two traditional, you know, your two traditional compression straps on the bottom there, as well as your two traditional loopholes for your walking palm. If I just unclip this, I will show you the bottom access to the rucksack. Just unzip this here. What you will notice is this, this actual midsection on here. Now, if I pull the actual strap systems in, the compression straps in, what you will notice is obviously that has pulled that up to give the bag itself two separate sections. So your dirty boots, your dirty clothes, you could keep in there as well as having all your clean stuff in here. Um, and as I say, it's just a general nice separator to have. And I so say you don't want it, just release the compression strap itself and then that will basically give you access from the bottom straight to the top. Anyway, let's take a look at the actual plus systems. Now obviously, as we take a look at the side here, you do have your compression straps as well. So once your gear's all, full, pull, uh, all filled up, or your rucksack's all filled up, pull those in and then that's just gonna stop anything from rattling around. But basically the plus five, or the plus 10 should I say, are these wide pockets on the side here. So these approximately, should we say, around about five liters each. Um, obviously, depending on how you've packed the main rucksack itself, it's going to warrant how much space you have in here. But as you can see, it's absolutely massive and they're naturally designed to actually come out to the side of the rucksack itself. So as I say, you've got nice high volume in there. And as I say, that's where the plus is. You've got five litres that side and you've got five litres that side. What you've also got is a nice traditional bottle pocket as well. Nice mesh on there. Obviously, you don't have to keep bottles in there. Your GPS, your maps, any other bits and bobs you can keep in there. Um, and then, hey, presto. And then just to finish it off, you've got elasticated top as well, so it's just going to hold it. So let's take a closer look at the actual entry point and the inside of the bag. Obviously, it's got a traditional entry point, just your two compression straps, and then you've got your basic toggle system on the top there as well for entry. Now, as we take a look at the inside, what you'll notice, it just does, it has one empty space in there. That's to reduce the risk, you know, of any pressures on other seams. The only section you do have in there is for your hydration bladder. The hose itself comes through the top here, and then you just feed it through that elastication there, and then hey presto, that's gonna hold it into place. You do have a secure pocket as well on the top. So your mobile phone, your keys, your wallet, bits and bobs that you don't, you know, don't want to have for prior eyes for, you could pop in there, zip it up, and it will stay safe and secure. And the fact that it stays on the top as well means you don't really notice it, and other people won't as well. Obviously on the top here, you've got your traditional backpack storage. Nice and wide as well. As I say, from Kendall Mint Cake to even your, you know, your over trousers and your packable jacket you can keep in there. It really, you know, depends on what, how you pack your bag itself. But it's got nice high volume in there. Nice chunky zip. And then just to top it off, all the zips on here do have a storm flap as well to protect them from the elements. So the back system itself does have bio fit. Now what that means is you can actually adjust the back panelling itself to fit your needs using that bottom, that bottom section there, that bottom pull section there, which you can just merely pull. And as you can see, as I'm pulling it, that's lowering the top section there. So that basically means that whole back panel, if I just hold that there, you can adjust freely. And obviously using the top straps as well, you can adjust it, as I say, just to fit your needs and get it to fit you nicely. Now obviously make sure when you do play around with the adjuster that the actual rucksack itself is fitted. Um, otherwise there's not much point in doing it because it, 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 you know you need the counterweight in the back there to get a better fit. The straps themselves have a reactive uh, padding, well that's what I like to call it anyway. It's nice and chunky in areas and it's thinner in areas as well. So basically it's going to give you a really nice close fit, which also means the bag itself is going to be nice and comfortable. So if you are using this for your Duke of Edinburgh, which obviously you can do so with ease, um, and you've got a heavy pack, you know, having that fit system on there, having a much natural fit, you know, going around your shoulder means at the end of the day, it's going to be a lot more comfortable for you. Now on the top, obviously you've got a traditional compression strap on the chest there. Obviously you can adjust it accordingly. And then just using the hook system, you can raise it and you can lower it as well. Just nice and easy, nice, quick and simple click through. Right, so the hip straps themselves, on this side here, you've got a nice pocket. Let's just open that up. Nice and spacious, and you do have a wide zip access as well, ideal for phones, uh, Kendall Mint Cake, quite literally grab and go items. And on this side, just to show you, 
You've got a couple of hoops on there so you can actually clip your carabiners to it as well. And what you will notice with the hip straps, they do have a natural bend as well. So as I say, as soon as they go around your hips, they're going to be nice and comfortable for you, just like the straps on the actual, the actual rucksack as well. And then just to finally tie it off, you've got a traditional buckle system as well, which using the pulleys on the side there, you can adjust freely. So there we have it, this is a great rucksack from Berghaus. If you'd like any more information on it, please visit our website, simplyhike.co.uk.